So that's my thing with TikTok, and we're going to talk about TikTok today. Um, it is a way, it's totally different than the recipes that I do for YouTube, because those are like tried and true recipes. I want you to be able to take that stuff and make it for your friends and family. But it's and, also yeah. a learning thing. Like and it's more learning. It's more, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and how Tick, to, you know. TikTok stuff just fun stuff that I decide, hey, I'm going to try to cook this and see how it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the crazy stuff comes in and dr- making drinks and all that. So it's, uh, it, it, I have, I honestly have a lot of fun on the TikTok channel because usually just me and Tyler record them. And I'm like, man, let's do four or five TikToks today. So we'll go, you know, we'll go to the house and I'll just, what are we cooking today? And it's, you know, something cheesy, something sweet, a drink. You <laughs> Got know, a ranch packet a ran- in there. Yeah, throw ranch in there. Just <laughs> basic stuff you can go get at Walmart or wherever. And that's, so it's a lot more fun. And the 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 idea I had for it when Tyler first brought TikTok to us, what well, it's been last January, yep. I think, almost was here. that that's going to be my kind of test and tune uh, platform. Like if I, if I make a recipe on TikTok and it's developmental, but we go ahead and get some content out of it, that I may take that and do a full blown how to recipe with it or a variation of it. Yeah. And so you can kind of tell when something like that takes off, like you probably never see me do just a regular cream cheese recipe on yeah, yeah. on YouTube because or it's not. Or casserole or yeah. dessert. You don't do those things on your YouTube channel, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, but but on TikTok it's perfectly fine. And I don't know, <laughs> hey, who doesn't like to eat them? So. But yeah, that yeah. kind of goes with us saying like you did that uh, pulled pork potato for the main channel uh, because the other one on the TikTok that, was so that successful. was a good so, yeah. example. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes we can get like some TikTok footage off a big video where it may not be that you know TikTok you're not going to do every single thing and spend the time and explain mm-hmm. why you did it and know how the girls working because you don't have time it's limited it's a quick view it's a quick watch it's meant for that so the the main channel is better for long you know i guess you, what do you call it long form i don't know yeah that's what we've mm-hmm. been calling yeah. it i don't know what the correct the right term yeah is, but... um speaking of tiktok you hit a million subscribers we did week. that's what's crazy <laughs> that's what's crazy so tyler for, when he first told us about tiktok last year and said you guys want to try it i was like man I'm not dancing on camera. That's, <laughs> I, that's all I thought it was. Whatever. I thought it was kids doing their little hand jive dances, you know, and all that stuff. And I was like, man, nobody wants to watch me do that. I sure. wish we went that direction. <laughs> <laughs> you wish we would have. But I so you so, so old right there. Them youths doing them the hand youths, jives. The youths doing hand jives. <laughs> <laughs> but that platform has transitioned over. So so really, Tyler, what we started doing was you were taking older footage mm-hmm. that we had. And just kind of turning it into a one minute kind of video for tick for that platform. Yeah, so that was kind of our trial runs. Is you know I took some of the best content that you guys had over on YouTube, some of the stuff that did really well, and some of them got split up between like one, two, three videos for people to watch part one, two, and three, and that's what people were doing back then. And then it kind of formed, you know, once we started filming organic content just for that channel, um, it kind of turned into this thing that now it's just recipes. And and one of the great things about TikTok and your TikTok recipe specifically is like, I know we don't provide a recipe, but sometimes I like that because I feel like it leaves interpretation for the audience to make it there. That's true. Yeah. And that's always been my thing too. Like, yeah, you can see me use using the products I use or whatever the ingredients I use, but really the the technique is what it is. So if you know that, Hey, I'm going to throw this on this smoker at this temperature or whatever, Put this stuff in it. The rest of it's up for interpretation. Yep. Mm-hmm. If you want to substitute flavors or any ingredients, any kind of way, go for it. Just that's what makes it fun. Um, I was very like Psst, TikTok. You didn't like TikTok <laughs> at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'll tell you what Even, changed. We were we were at some event and a couple of young people came up to me, like, you know, in the early twenties, guys in the early twenties are like, Yeah, I've been I saw a bunch of Malcolm's recipes that I wanted to check out and they started naming off the TikTok recipes. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, wow. That's when I was really like, wow, we're re- reaching a whole different audience. You held TikTok. off, like didn't even download the app. It's like, yeah, y'all go ahead and play on TikTok <laughs> if you want to. We're now gonna, I'm addicted. Yeah, now you, every night, Shell, what are you doing, Shell? It's time to go to bed. I mean, they're TikToking. That's like my stress relief. <laughs> just scrolling through. Yeah, just give me about 15, Sometimes I wish it would like auto go. That's the one thing. I, they need to have like a option on tiktok like if you're on somebody's page because sometimes i'll like if i if i see a video i like i'll go to their main page and want to watch all their videos well they don't autoplay you've got to actually swipe yeah so if i could just check a little box and it would just play that minute one play that minute one play that minute one. <laughs> that, but you don't uh, have to leave it on all the time it would just be like an auto feature <laughs> that's swiping 
work. Huh? <laughs> that swiping's a lot of work. Your thumb don't get sore, do it. <laughs> That's going to be a thing. Watch. There's going to be people going to some kind of physical therapy over TikTok thumb. thumb. Swipe thumb. Yeah. You're going to have all this carpal tunnel. These thumbs are going to be jacked up. What, 10, 15 years from now? People are going to have these old crooked thumbs. TikTok callous thumbs. Too. Now that you mention it. <laughs> I, I, hey, I'm not. I can't be the only one. I don't have one of those old button looking things on the back of my phone that people hold that's supposed to help them. Yeah, help yeah, yeah. I've never I've, had. I one hold of those it either. the old school way, and it does. It makes your hand. I mean, if you're sitting there for an hour on it, and you get like you get in like this loop. Yep. Where time doesn't exist, <laughs> and you're just flipping through stuff, and the next thing you know, you've done went through a thousand. Videos. I've tried my best to get to the end of TikTok. I don't think it's possible. <laughs> it's like you thought the internet was vast. TikTok's got so much stuff on it, you can't get to the end yeah. of it. We challenge you. Yeah. yeah. I got those gamer thumbs, like uh, the youth gamer thumbs. Yeah, from the yeah they're yeah. strong. I'm good. <laughs> they're strong, man. I bet you could thumb wrestle. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I'm used to the old D-pad controllers. That's the one I do to play. When they, when they brought out the thumb controllers. Mess me all up with my video games. <laughs>